Right. Hello, everybody. Hello, it's Chrisula here, the Golden Muse, and also on the call of God, Penny, Penny Wing. And uh, hopefully, hello, Penny. Um, <laughs> hopefully, you know, the, the, if it's just the two of us, it's great. We have space to talk about a beautiful color today. Uh, probably you, you love green. I, it's, it's a color I really love. Not, not as much wearing green, to be honest with you, but I love being outside in nature. And June here in England, and the sun is shining out there now, you know, today, 6th of June, it's just paradise. I know Penny lives in beautiful Spain, and she's got the sunshine more often than we do, much more often. Uh, however, lucky Penny, uh, however, uh, we've got lovely sunshine. Over the weekend, I was out uh, with a group of friends. One of my sort of, I would call it hobby, is a motorbike. You know, I'm, I'm a pillion on a motorbike. My, my partner, my fiancé, is into, into motorbiking. So we organized, a, we organized a tour out in, in beautiful England, all the way down to Cotswolds, and we went through all the shires. <laughs> oh, well, you're so lucky. I miss the scenery. I miss the greenery. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very much. So it was, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. You know, it's, it's the green with the sun. If you think about it, the green is, is, uh, is, it's got yellow. It's, it's, we use, it's yellow and blue. So it's the heart chakra. Green is, is with, you know, it's, it's the heart physical and emotional heart. Yeah. So when you are surrounded by so much green, you know, your heart opens up. You know, you cannot, you know, there must be a serious problem if you, <laughs> you do not like sunshine and, and green spaces like that. Um, so, Penny, where you live, do you have a lot of green? I'm lucky as in I live not far from a golf course. So I do manage to go out into greenery. But really where I live, is, is pretty houses it's not very green okay. it's not very green um but i but i make sure i get over to the golf course every day to soak up some of that greenery because the belief is is that nature revitalizes and recharges you and helps to transmute negative energy mm -hmm. so it's important to be out in nature yes yes it is very much so and uh, now now that uh, you know, if we if we're going in June, we're going to look into uh, green. So, yeah. some of the topics we're going to to go through and uh, have a conversation about, analyze a bit, or you know, we keep it light. You know, those of you who are going to watch back uh, the video podcast, we love. You know, it's it's color. It brings brings so much. It's so uplifting. So, Kala, if you want to see it from various levels, it's really uplifting. It's very, you know, brings so much into our lives. So, all of us here, we love, we love talking about Kala. So, if you're attracted to watching this, it means you equally love Kala. Maybe you don't know why. You haven't had a chance to analyze or study Kala or see it, but uh, everybody loves Kala for different reasons. So, green, we have yellow and blue so it's a heart chakra and you know it's it's a it's a communicating from the heart and through your heart so mm. you feel you feel you know when you you are in that space where you can feel you can trust life and life is good and things can can evolve things can transform can change and be, you believe in that and you're coming from that heart space so green is all about heart physical emotional heart it's about creating space in your life mm. basically learning if if you're not good with that it's okay you know we all go through that how to set boundaries and how to say yes and how to say no because mm. sometimes it's hard to say no to people and what's happening we don't have space for us that yeah. equals we get overwhelmed and that equals we have no energy and then even burnout. I don't know how, how many of you can, can resonate with that. If you have, you have experienced something like that in your life when you felt, you know, it was just to the point of overwhelm because you have given too much out there and there was nothing for you. 
And that's, that's what, you know, that's, that's how the burnout comes. Maybe the other ways, but, you know, as, as long as green is concerned, <laughs> that's what green, you know, green people, they don't, they, don't have, they don't have space for themselves. And then their energy is completely, that's what the green color heals. That's what it heals. That's, that, that's what helps you. So I'd like to say welcome to Sass as well. Hello, Sass. Thank you, darling. Hello. 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 Hi, Penny. Having a little trouble with my computer, so I hope it's not going to uh, ruin everything. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Welcome. I lo love, love, you, love you being here. Thank you so much. So, yes, green is the complementary color of red. So last month in May, we were having manifesting with red. This month in June, we're manifesting with green. So June, if, you, if you're listening to, or if you had a chance to read about uh, astrological developments, as far as June is concerned, it's all about creating space and heal your heart. So mm -hmm. Penny, I guess tomorrow you're going to have your, your spiritual yes, dream. So it's perfect, so perfect timing. Yeah, that's a heart-centered work tomorrow. Wow. Perfect timing, yes. Um, I would like us to take through. Um, okay, I would like to take, <laughs> <laughs> take you through. Uh, I'm a, slave, meditation, slave. a meditation with green, a uh, green angel. So that's that's the essence. Well, actually, here for me is called a bit more. It has become a, a bit more teal color. Yeah, yours has changed color. Yeah. Yes. Wow. It does, it does happen like that because, yeah. you know, the, while you, you see yours is green, mine is more, more teal. So, yeah. so because the way, the way you evolve, color works with you too. So yeah. you're, you're absorbing. I don't know yeah. what the noise can, where the noise comes from. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> oh, both, my my system. I'm, I'm... So, so I'm going to go and close down some programs on my computer. What minute? Okay. So it's funny, it's funny, Christula, because your your green angel looks more turquoise. Mm. And this afternoon, I picked up a bottle of emerald, one of Karani's heart fire programs, and my emerald bottle looks turquoise. Okay, oh, that's strange. There's a bit of a pattern there. Yeah. So we must be losing some of. Let me think. If green is yellow and blue. Are we losing some of the yellow? Mm. Mm. Or, or absorbing, absorbing the yes. yellow. So yeah, instead, so, yeah. instead, instead of coming, you know, from an ego space and, and think about logic and always, you know, up here, you know, processing everything up here, what's happening in a way we're dropping more into our hearts. And then, and then the turquoise is more like coming upwards. It's higher, higher ch chakra, isn't it? Yes, the higher heart chakra. Yeah, chakra. yeah. yeah. So, so I think I, I interpret it as a good sign anyway. <laughs> I, I, when the bottles change, I always think it's a good sign. Good. good. I'm an eternal optimist. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, heart chakra, uh, on, in June's calls, I will we'll also talk about how to create space in your life, uh, talking more about how to avoid uh, burnouts, overwhelm. And also, green is good, supports you with changes. We're talking about big, big, trans, you know, like transformation in progress. So it could be uh, changing jobs, big changes, changing houses, like uh, moving. So this kind of, and then you need the green energy really to support you, to, to trust that things will go okay. You need that, you need that, you know, even the mo you know, when you make big changes like that, you need that. Like when uh, Moira, I remember when we were doing um, green and then she was talking about going, Moira Bush is, is, uh, is uh, my mentor and teacher. And uh, she was talking about going to Canada. And she was really, you know, although she was excited, but at the same time, she was really, really sort of, you know, like petrified because of all the changes that are going to happen. And they said, okay, green angel. And also there's another one, green dragon. Yeah. So green, green, dragon, green dragon is this one right here. It's got, it's got this, I don't know if you can see these green little particles in there. Yeah. 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 How'd they create that? That's yeah. 
Glitter. Yeah. It, lots of glitter. <laughs> oh, I enough it. glitter in these no. bottles. Color, color is about bringing more joy in life. So being more playful, more colorful, more joyful. There you go. So are you ready for a little bit of a meditation with Green Angel? Now, I, I would like to, to, to invite you that, those of you that you are coming on the calls and you are sort of connecting through here live, if you equally have the essences, the, the essence bottles are 30 pounds, okay? Basically, it's not only for the month of June, it could be for as long as you wish. And you can use them in your sound healing sass, you can use it in many other ways. You can use for your own healing, when you're working one-to-one -one in groups. So I would highly recommend them so you can connect even more. I mean, you don't have to, there's no like <laughs> any obligation. I would say, you know, if you, if you want to go for it, then you will connect most with, with the, the color even more, deeper. It will go deeper. I mean, I always, uh, when I'm working through the chakras, I'm always doing the sounds and the colors. Yes. Yeah. So people can relate the two yeah. together and about wearing the clothes and the colors to bring in that particular essence or frequency into your life. So green is a good one. Or pink. Mm. Oh, okay, I saw them. Um, yeah, looking, if I'm looking to soften my heart mm -hmm. and get more into my um, feminine energies, I will wear pink. And if I'm looking for abundance, um, to draw in more abundance, I'll wear green. Yes. So I think, that in, in, you know, sometimes I wear one or the other. So I think you can wear both depending on what part of the uh, heart energy you're looking to attract. Yes. More of. yes. Well, pink, we'll, very naturally we will talk about pink because in color mirrors is the evolved color so the chakras have evolved so from green it has become pink so we have chakra bottles the first the first bottles you know that and then then over the years of course as we evolve and mother earth is evolving of course color evolves too so we have the the new bottles is is, is instead of green it has become pink so but pink we're gonna we're gonna be talking about that on another set on another um episode or session next 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 week uh right so let's see now then what uh, what's the time so we've got we've got some uh, time for lovely green meditation yeah yeah okay so i'll take you through a bit of a relaxation so you need just to close your eyes i'm going to um just uh i'm going to mute you very wise. And then I'll bring you back later. Okay. Brilliant. So, I'm going to, I'm going to just allow you just to connect with uh, some of the bottles here as you see them. And, uh, there you are. And then I'm going to take you through the meditation. Relax, close your eyes and take a deep breath. This is a time to be with your body. Feel where you're holding any tension and let it go. Let the relaxation start at the top of your crown and gently wash down like warm, gentle energy relaxing your forehead your eyelids your cheeks and your jaw relax the back of your head your neck and your throat relax your shoulders breathe into them and put down the burdens of the day put down the world outside this is your time for your own healing Really, relax your shoulders. Relax your arms, your elbows and your hands. Relax the muscles down your spine. Relax your chest. Let your breath come easily and gently. Relax your stomach and relax into your hips. Relax your thighs, your knees, 
your calves. Relax your ankles and your feet. Let the relaxation wash down like warm, gentle energy, washing out every last bit of tension out through the soles of your feet and into the earth where it is transformed. Now, find yourself in a green room. Can you visualize yourselves being in a green room? So you've got green walls, ceiling, windows, and in the center is a green chair. It is one of those that you can lie back in, really comfortable. Allow yourself now to completely relax in this comfortable green chair. And begin to breathe in this green light, deep into your lungs. And then allow this green light to connect with your base chakra, with your root chakra. Feel what happens when the green mingles with the red. What happens when you allow the energy of your heart to mix with the red, where you hold all your survival fears? What happens then? These two colors are exact complementaries and are deeply linked. Green trees make the oxygen that keeps your blood red. Allow them to mix in this energy center and bring the opposites together into a perfect balance. Now bring the green into the sacral chakra and feel what happens when this energy center is given space and love. How creative can you be when this energy center is perfectly balanced? Move the green now into your solar plexus. Feel the energy of the heart in your power center and feel how that softens the stress you carry in your solar plexus. When power is given love, and space, what happens then? It is softening and strengthening at the same time. Move the green into your heart and feel the expansion of the heart energy as it fills the room. Feel your heartbeat as it steadies and slows. Feel the vast space around you so that you can show who you really are. In this space, you can be tender with yourself as you are the Creator's beloved. Feel into that and breathe it in. Now it's time to move green to your throat. Here you say, I have the space to be heard and I can speak from my heart. Move the green up to your third eye now. Feel the panoramic awareness as your vision opens and expands. Move the green to your crown and feel how much love and space there is for you to express your spirit. Feel how safe you are to be spiritual in any way you choose and let that energy fold itself around you. You are safe and loved and deeply connected to the divine. Just allow a bit more time to feel the green all the way through your chakra centers. And when you're ready, bring yourself back gently into the core. Now, can I see you back, Penny and Sarah? Let me see if you're back on the, on the call. 
Why are you still in your meditation? Can you hear me, Priscilla? I can hear you, yes, I can. It won't let me start the video because you, it's saying that you have to start the video. But I did, I did unmute you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm here. <laughs> you are here, that's good. <laughs> it's as, where's Sass? I don't know where Sass is. She's gone off to another dimension. <laughs> yes. So... How was the how was the meditation, Penny, for you? It was lovely. It was lovely. It's it's so interesting because the red and the green are complementary colours. Yet in the world of colour mirrors, they can indicate separation. Mm. It's a bit of a paradox, isn't it, really? And um, it's not my favourite combination. Um, I love I love Christmas, and I know red and green is quite traditional. At Christmas, mm -hmm. but I must I must admit I much prefer green and pink to green and red. Yes. Mm, interesting. Green and pink than red. Okay. Yeah. Can you see? Can you read her message? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> oh, she's back. Can you hear me? Uh, ask to start video. Okay. Start my video. I don't know why it's suddenly go. Oh, there you go. Before I came on, I had to update it, so it's just playing. <laughs> <laughs> you were right, though, Penny. I was heading off into another dimension. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad thing to do. No. no, that's the space for you as well. We say June is the space is the month to create more space for you in your life, and and that will allow you to. It's about, it's about releasing uh, negative thoughts and negative feelings and really dropping more into your heart. And that's what June's invitation is. Mm -hmm. So I had uh, the astrologer Pam Gregory last, uh, last Thursday on, on the show, on the Healthy Healing Show. And uh, we were talking about, you know, what June's astrological development is about. And that's one of the things that, you know, really, it really hit me. And then I said... Actually, I'm going to be talking about the heart chakra and all of that in June. It's, it's, the synchronicity is amazing. <laughs> so, so Penny, Penny, you said you prefer more green with pink rather than uh, yeah, green I, I with like, red. Yeah. yeah, I like green and pink together, but I'm not overly keen on red and green together. Mm -hmm. so. oh, I like them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to reflect on myself and see why I don't. <laughs> I'm still analysed. Yes, <laughs> oh, yes, that's that's a, that's a good. It's it's also reflecting on on, on and that's a, another way of understanding more of of what's happening and the changes or you know f filling into you know there must be a reason why you don't like green with red but you know maybe now you cannot find out maybe when let us know next time. Yeah, I've had to think. Yeah, I have to put the bottles together and have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, right? Yeah, play around with them. So, Sas, how you said you liked it? Yes. Um, when when you took the green down to the uh, to the root chakra, I felt this huge surge of energy that run through my body. Mm. So obviously, it's quite quite good colours for me. <laughs> um, I, th I think for me, it's balancing that raw energy that I have with the heart. Yeah. So that's why I like them because they're two frequencies that need balance that help balance each other, or the heart helps balance the red. Yeah, it's it's like masculine and feminine coming together in a way. Yes, which I I feel probably what we're working on this planet. Yeah. A lot of people you know, yeah. finding the balance between the male and the female. Yeah. But many many years having to be in a masculine energy, bringing up children on my own, having to be the driving force behind it. And sometimes I notice myself saying, "Oh." I just, I just, I just have enough of this. I want to be more passive. Yes. <laughs> I don't have to be driving everything, yes. um, which is, which is a very male energy, isn't it? Yes, it is. One of the things I love about the male energy is that directive, sort of, come on, let's get there, and, and sort of gathering me all together. 
And after years of doing that myself, I kind of sometimes have moments where I just go, I'm, I'm just being in a passive mode and I deliberately take that stance. So I think those, that's what it was sort of saying to me. Yeah. More, more time in the green, but have the energy of the red as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And also, and also if, if energetically uh, you feel, you feel a bit, um, you need to be more space for yourself. That's probably, that's what you're healing. That's another way of, of, of healing coming in there as well. Yes, I'm sure. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you have anything time in Greece then? <laughs> the colours were gorgeous there. Yes, yes. Uh, it was lovely. It, it's more, Greece is, is uh, the green, you've got to go out in some of the islands in Greece. Then yeah. you don't have as much green in Athens. You know, you do have, you do have a, a park in Athens. You know, the Zapion is, is a beautiful, it's like a little, you know, you can really breathe. But is you, you, the major color for me is, is the sea, which is di- yeah. turquoise and blues and different yeah. blue shades and so on. And you have the yellow with that coming together. Uh, so when you are on different islands, that they do have green as well. So you have the blue, the green, and the yellow of the sun. Wow. <laughs> this is so they're in Athens and then they go to the, go to the coast for the greenery and the blues. Yes. To balance out all that energetic energy that's been expended during their working because it's a sort of quite high of activity, isn't it, Athens? Yes, yes. It's a it's a very busy city, yeah. Hustle, yeah. hustle. But the good thing is within half an hour you can go to the coast. You can you know it's easy it's easy. It's a coastal city, so you can go to the coast and then you have that energy of of, of the of the Mediterranean Sea coming into your life oh. like that. <laughs> like that. You know, like very, that. very lucky people when you're you know you're so close to water and, and the blue sea ah uh, yes so mm. so next next uh, next uh, monday feel into ways if you like to share some tips how we can create more space in our in in our lives uh think about some of them uh suggest if you like suggest some of your own uh sort of strategies or your 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 hobby or no hobbies habits what you do to get out of the overwhelm and then bring back you know feeling more like grounded back into your heart because we are all you know we tend to be up here so if we can allow to bring, to come back if you got some you know it could be you know so as, as you can take us through a bit of a, a heart uh, chakra sound sort of you can do that next time. Have a have a few minutes to bring us back and feel what it's like to create. You know that you know with sound. Uh, Penny, you know I leave it with you if you like to to say you know just some of your your own ways. Yeah, that you can draw back into your heart. Some people use meditation as we did today, or it could be you know uh, journaling is a wonderful way to really feel into what's happening rather than have all your thoughts up here. You know, really write them down. Uh, whatever suits you, you know, it's, it's not, there's no right or wrong. Mm-hmm. I find eye gazing into another. Oh, yes. Yes. This is, this is remarkable with the hard intelligence work we have, we have experienced. It's beautiful when you see people really looking into each other's eyes and then really connect. And then you give a warm hug, but you stay there for a few seconds. It's not a quick one. It's, it's a lovely, you know, like, you know, hug, and then you feel, oh, that's, that's oh, something. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Not... it's like it connects you to your humanity, doesn't it, when you, yeah. when you look into people's eyes. Yeah. It's interesting how some people find it very difficult to oh, look yes. into the eyes of another. Yeah. Lots of people, I mean, my mother said, oh my goodness, no, don't do that to me. It's how embarrassing. <laughs> it's embarrassing to look into your eyes. I said, she said, yes, don't do it. And it, it's like, what is it that you... It's hiding, we're hiding. You know, why people feel so hoodied well, about having you know, a look into their eyes. But they say that the eyes are the reflection of your soul. So well, when, you're, when, you're, when you're connecting through the eyes, I think that it's like your, your spirit is connected as well. And we have that, that space, you know, to say, I am here and I can see you. I really see you. Yeah. Yes, because you can look without really seeing somebody, can't you? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. 
you can look but don't see <laughs> without really hear or hearing without listening yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah yes. to bring me present and, and in my heart space that's a, a very good exercise to do yeah if you can find someone who's not too embarrassed to do it with. <laughs> I think that's wonderful to do it with people, you know, like uh, with your partner, with your husband or with a friend that you feel really at ease, you know, start with those people you feel connected already and create that like, a, do it like, a, as you said, Sash, you know, more, more, more often. Uh, but it doesn't have to be like morning session, let's do morning session, but it could be any time. <laughs> it could be any time. Absolutely. Yeah. Any time, any place, anywhere. Very, very why don't you try it out tomorrow and tell us? <laughs> well, well, I'll let you know how we get on. I'll let you know how we get on. Well, I will be doing lots of the eye gazing anyway because I've got, <laughs> I've got client sessions tomorrow. So that's one of the things I work with and practice to see how much resistance comes up. Mm. You know, to see where the resistance and, and help them to give you a bit of, bit of feedback. So yeah, I just I recommend anyone at home, literally with a, as a loving as you can, with a loving open heart, free of judgments as possible, mm -hmm. and just look into someone's eyes that you not, not even have to care about. It could be your next door neighbour, it could be your postman. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it with delivery man actually. I say, let me look at your eyes. Look at your eyes. Oh, you're a funny one. Yes, look at me. <laughs> Yes. Said, no, just sign here, madam. Just sign here. <laughs> Their heads down. Yes, yeah, so, some people, some people get a bit uh, embarrassed. Yeah, it's true. But <laughs> the more we practice, the more the more it is we get. You know, it's 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 a practice, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an eye gazing conference. <laughs> eye gazing conference. <laughs> Let's oh, see. You know. yeah. Who the winner is, yeah, the longer, the longer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I think they did a load of videos on YouTube and it, uh, they were showing people just strangers coming together and they were holding space in the middle of a town centre. And um, people were just crying because sometimes people have never actually been held in someone's gaze. No. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, it's like, what are we all trying to hide? What is it we're trying to, what are we ashamed of? What's our fears about connecting through the eyes? People have sex, don't they? Lots of people have sex, obviously, and... Um, oh, hopefully, yes. <laughs> lucky them. <laughs> Some of them don't even look in your eyes. <laughs> I see, we are setting a new, a new uh, mode, a new pattern, you know, just, just yeah, yes, I think connecting through the yeah. eyes. It's, it's, it brings you more connecting with your heart. That's, that's, what, saying, that's, yes. that's what that's what we, we we are trying to get to. <laughs> that's what I reckon. Keep the lights on and connect during the day, so you can really look into each other, into me, as uh, Neil Donald Walsh says. Yeah. Well, uh, yes. But the thing is, when I really want to feel, I close my eyes. Mm. So that's okay. you know, when I feel as if I'm really going within. My eyes are closed. I understand that. Maybe because you're making a connection um, vertically to spirit or to your higher self. Maybe, yeah. but when you're connecting horizontally with others, you yeah. want to open your eyes because otherwise they're not, you're <laughs> like closing them out. And another defense mechanism, isn't it? <laughs> Defending from too much love. Yeah. I'll try it in my group tomorrow and I'll let just you know. Try that. Just give, say, just for a few seconds, just hold. Yeah. Yeah. Look into the gaze and just see what the reactions are. It's quite interesting. Yeah, I'll let you know how we get on. And I shall reflect on red and green as a combination. Okay. And see how I feel next week. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there aren't many animals in nature that are red and green, are there? So maybe it's got something to do with that, you know, what we're used to, the colours are mixing together. But yes, I always have Christmas red and green is always my favourite colours. So mm. I'm with you on that one. Priscilla, but it's interesting to notice why we have certain aversions towards certain mixtures yeah. of colours and why you wouldn't wear that with that. I can't stand um, brown and navy blue together. No. Yeah. I, 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 wouldn't, I, wouldn't think of, I wouldn't think of putting these together, I know. No, but people do. Navy blue and brown or navy blue but and black. We can, we can talk about uh, green conversations with, uh, you know, like green with other colours, if you like. We can, we yeah. can explore that yeah. next time. And then and see, you know, green with red or green with pink or green with, uh, with other colours, green with yellow. And then 
It, also, we can explore past lives. You know, green and yellow is catharsis. Yeah, isn't it? Stuff would be yeah. Good, yeah, yeah, we could do that as well. But you know, think about how to create space in life. You know, just just very one tip from everybody, and then what works. What don't use any deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> that works well. <laughs> I want to have a bar for a few days or a shower. Give you wide berth. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody out of here. Because they say that green people, that's, that's another thing, is that they don't have a sense of space. So they are really coming very close to you. They yes. really want to be very close to you. And then you have the red people that actually want to keep you away. They don't want people too close. And, mm. you, you know, we have the red people, the green people, and then, yeah. <laughs> hello, hello, I'm a green person. Uh, <laughs> I'm going yeah, the well, uh, Space yeah. invasion. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that, do you think? Uh, the English the English people, are, I think they're more like they don't want people too close to them. I, I, that's, that's the impression I've got. They are not, they don't, they want some space. Uh, I yeah. think the Greeks or the Italians or the Spanish, they are more like they don't mind touchy feely too much or, you know, getting closer. Uh, I don't know if it's only a matter of culture, I think, or is it because of the weather that brings people more relaxed with the sunshine and so on? That's another interesting... What's interesting was I heard about the history of humanity and one of the things that England we used to be seen as by the rest of Europe was the hugging, cuddling capital of Europe. Did you know well, that? You back in history? Nice about that. Wow. Yeah, no, we were cuddling and we were all very fruity with each other. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, I don't know what happened to shut down the heart chakra, but somewhere along the line, something kind of, um, you know, created this cultural wall, the heart wall. Well, so, and energetically speaking as well, since you brought that up, Sas, energetically speaking, uh, England is, is the heart chakra. Is, is, that's, that's what energetically speaking is. So it is... It's about, you know, that's why you have so much charitable work happening in, in England. And we are surrounded with so much green, you know, we are, you've got so much green here. But also, I am, sometimes I'm asking myself why I was drawn to England so much, because yeah. probably there was a lot of healing for me to happen as well. Um, mm. So, so yeah, it's, it's, it's I, I really adore what we're talking about. Thank you so much for being on the call and uh and yes you you're very welcome to join us next monday we're going to be on here live holistic calls carry on with green conversations and <laughs> carry on with green. lots yeah. of laughter lots of <laughs> lots of joy and uh, yeah just have a wonderful week ahead of you and yeah. spend some time meditating spend some time you know to purify your body if there's anything if you if you're feeling like a bit changing something like detoxing Stop having, let's say, alcohol if you can, or meat, or something, or sugar, or caffeine. It is June. It's it is great for that kind of purification of the body. So try it out. I'm going to try and have no meat. So I'm saying that. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a vegetarian, so I can't really do that. But maybe cut something out like milk. Yeah. Because I, I'm trying to move away from drinking cow's milk. But uh, yeah, meat, meat was a long time ago. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just good to see. Yeah, it, it's uh, more, whatever, more. whatever, you know, you, it might be something. It's you not know, like you, you it's, it's imposed to you. It's, it's a conscious decision that you like yeah. to, to make a change and see how your body feels a bit lighter. So lots it's of love. As well. I was going to say about the, the fact that people say you're going green, I'm going green. Yes. Mm expression which we kind of relate to ecological sort of um, improvements in our um, in our interactions with the earth but actually going green becomes more heart-centered in your relationship to the environment so green, green hands as well we say <laughs> okay yeah. lots of love yeah. and uh, lots of love. lovely to see you penny lovely to see you yes. see you next Bye. week Bye. Bye. Lots of love. Bye. take care enjoy the sunshine what's left of it yes you too you too <laughs> well, apparently the tornadoes head our way <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it for a moment. Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye.